I am Nagesh. I am managing director of this company. In fact, I am one of those founders who started this company around 20 years back. We fondly call our company FHD Group. We are 120 people team today. Uh, we do large scale mass planning projects to urban design, to interiors and landscape. We have four offices across India. One, we have Hyderabad is our main head office where we operate from. And we have in Chennai, Bangalore, and then we have in Mumbai, we just recently started. Um, all across India, we do a lot of projects. When I saw the advantages of the BIM, that as an architect, I actually started really believing that BIM has a sense, which as an architect, manually also I would have not managed. And it's a real boon for an architect. The fundamental reason was that when somebody was actually drawing, Right at the concept level, if I'm, having, if I'm able to control what is the cost of my building, what is the cost of my design, in terms of areas and then uh, in terms of energy that it consumes or it, it, in terms of its practicality and so many aspects, that's when I realized that no, BIN is the future. You know, this is the real change. I'm Madhav. I'm the design director for uh, Fountainet Design. So at FHD, what we've been working on in the beginning were uh, small-scale interior design projects. But over a period of time, now we have moved on to develop a segment project. So they are getting fairly large, fairly complex. And to, uh, to the extent that uh, coordinating it for the entire duration of the project becomes a very onerous task. So this is where we felt BIM really came into use for us. During our transition phase, we worked closely with our Autodesk partner, uh, Cape Record, to set up the entire uh, workflow for us um, from moving from AutoCAD into a BIM platform. And we also hired a full-time BIM manager. Uh, for close to uh, one and a half years, he worked with us, set up all the libraries that were required. Uh, it, it kind of made the team a lot more comfortable transitioning from uh, something they usually do in 2D to something that everything that what they do is in 3D. Uh, one of the more complex projects that we have done uh, is, is in Hyderabad. It's an upcoming high-end residential apartment building. It's a 35-story tower. This project, we really uh, work fully on Revit from the beginning, from conception all the way to uh, final GFC drawings. Uh, Revit really helped us um, integrate all of them quite well and it also made sure that we could understand clash issues with structural uh, design much earlier. Although the engineers were not fully using it, uh, we took it upon ourselves to convert whatever engineering drawings we got into Revit and checked it against the architectural drawings to make sure that um, everything was aligned, everything was uh, as per the intent, design intent. On a master plan scale, we have worked on a net zero villa community, which is one of the first ones, first of its kind in India. It's garnered several, lot of attention and awards recently. In this project specifically, we brought in consultants uh, who used a BIM-based platform. And that really helped us when, when we were designing architecture to import that information to us. So where we found the BIM platform being very effective well, was where um, we were able to de um, devise the entire parametric skin, a parametric facade for the project, which is fully capable of uh, taking care of the east direction or the west direction, and it's adaptable that way. And um, also to create an infrastructural system of earth air tunnels, which is to take hot air from outside, cool it by taking it underground and then bringing it back into the villa. So this whole system was designed along with the levels, along with the contours of the site, along with the excavation requirements using uh, the Revit-based uh, platform. So uh, it, it helped our engineers to quickly understand uh, what we are trying to propose. It uh, helped our interior designers who also used BIM to design the entire interior of each of these villas to know where to finally bring those panels up. So it, it gave us a lot of uh, confidence in taking projects that are much more larger scale and at the same time make sure that the smaller details are not missed out. Uh, we strongly believe that BIM is the future to not just architecture in other design industries as well. Um, it is important that we connect to what we draw, to what we construct at the end of the day. And we feel that um, Revit as a platform has developed substantially in the last few years uh, to almost become an industry standard today that most people, when they talk about BIM, directly relate uh, 
positive edge to it. Creating designs that, um, that kind of fall within that category is fairly important for us to be competitive as a business and as, as a creative unit uh, within the industry. The miss feature and all of us as architects should definitely go towards it. Although initially I refused to accept uh, information technology uh, intruding into my area, now I embrace it. It is coming out of the need. So I see it is very, very relevant.